So you're sitting at home drooling over all the cool 60 inch wide side by sides and you're wishing that there was an easy way for you to turn your Razer into a Razer S. Well guess what? There is. Trade-in values can be frustrating, and so can the rest of your week when you suggest to the better half that you want to upgrade. Sure, there's a time for a new ride, but before you throw in the towel and give up on your 50-inch wide Razer 800, let me enlighten you. A wide arm kit isn't anything new, but the way that Super ATV does them is. It's as simple as a few clicks on your computer to spec out the right wide arm kit for your ride, including everything you need to get the job done. The precision and craftsmanship of the Super ATV product is, in my opinion, among the nicest we've seen from the aftermarket. I've installed $5,000 wide arm kits, and they have nothing over this Plus 5 Razor 800 kit. Plus 5 means 5 inches of extra width on each side, making our base 50 inch wide Razor the same size as the Razor S. And one extra cool feature we gain over the Razor S is incredible clearance, as this kit is a high clearance version, making for some seriously interesting looking A arms. The inclusions in this kit truly are impressive. You can use your stock CV joints with an upgraded Rhino axle stub, as well as your stock shocks with an upgraded drop bracket, but I opted to go with the brand new Rhino axles, including the CV joints, as well as the Sport Series Phantom shocks to make this a true one-stop shop. Installing a kit of this magnitude seems daunting. You're removing everything suspension related, including the wheels, spindle, including the disc brake calipers and rotors, shocks, the A-arms, both front and rear, all four axles, as well as the brake lines, along with the sway bars and associated components. But don't be too concerned. If you can follow detailed instructions with color photographs and spin a wrench or two, you're probably gonna be able to get this done in about a day. Up front are fully adjustable tie rods that replace the stock ones. This is a really nice feature as it keeps the steering setup strong where many other kits will use a tie rod sleeved extender and pretty much without question, fail. Up next, we pop the brand new Rhino axles into the differentials. Because we have such a new vehicle to put this kit on, we don't need to replace the bushings. We're just gonna reuse the old ones on the entire vehicle. But if your buggy has more than a thousand miles on it, don't even think. Just click the poly kit from Super ATV when you order yours. Installation of the A-arms is very straightforward. On the rear of this kit, we have an adjustable lower joint. This will need to be properly measured so you don't change the camber of the wheel. Being adjustable means you can fine tune the camber if for some reason yours is off. Following the A-arms, we replaced the spindles along with the disc brakes and rotors, and we replaced two of the brake lines. Up next, we're gonna put a completely new rear sway bar in with new links. This is a nice sway bar and includes all new double ball joint links. It's easy to line up and even has grease zerks like all the other components on this Super ATV Plus 5 kit. They truly didn't leave anything out. Our final step to the build is to add the Phantom Sport Series shocks. Now these are a really nice shock, fully rebuildable, and they have threaded preload adjustment. And they only add a total of $200 to the complete kit when you order it online. That is one screaming deal. These shocks are a nice upgrade over stock, are rebuildable, and only cost about hundred bucks over the price of the kit when you use the shock drop bracket to use your stock shocks. Unless you've upgraded your shocks already, it's a no-brainer. Better quality, better ride, better choice. Once I get the wheels reinstalled, I'll be able to show you just how much of a difference this Super ATV kit makes. I mean, you didn't think I was gonna do all of this work and not have some fun, did you? Tune into next week's episode where I'll put the Super ATV Plus 5 High Clearance Kit to the true test. If you enjoyed this video, post a comment and let us know what you think. Then click this link to subscribe and that link for more great videos from Dirt Tracks TV.